field. So I do a lot of rock climbing and take video of the rock as I'm going up it and talk about the different types of formations that we're seeing. So instead of bringing the students out to the field, I bring the field into the classroom. American Public University, higher education that makes a difference. Breaking right now at 11 o'clock, a young woman dies of an overdose and a Redskins player is linked to the case. What we have just learned from the team. New developments tonight, the Potomac River Rapist captured. It just brings great closure. How a high-tech family tree ended a decades-long mystery. And years after an unarmed man is shot by Park Police, we learn there will be no charges. The claim that kept the feds from pressing charges. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news, a Redskins player cooperating with police after the death of a young woman overnight. Robert Burton is here with us, and Robert Monte uh, Nicholson, this is not his first contact with police. No, it's not. And that, one year, what you're talking about, that was less than a year ago, December 2018. Okay, now this right here, very serious situation. The Redskins confirmed to ABC 7 Sports that the team has alerted the NFL and is also cooperating with officers after a 21-year-old woman was said to have overdosed and been brought to the hospital. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office tells us two men dropped dropped off the woman at the Inova ER in Ashburn. Well, she was unconscious and unresponsive. She couldn't be saved by doctors, but the two men left. All right, the police were able to track them down. TMZ is reporting one of those men was safety Monte Nicholson. Now, we're working to confirm that right now. A lot more coming on this story. Last year, Nicholson uh, was definitely the uh, subject of another situation, uh, suspended for the final two games of the season after a fight outside of one Loudon. Now, those charges against him in the case were dropped. The Redskins did not address Nicholson's status for Sunday's game against the Jets. Over to you. Robert, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. And developing tonight another big story that we're following, the first step towards closure in a case that had been cold for many, many years. It was the so-called Potomac River Rapist case, and now there is resolution. 60-year-old Giles Warwick is under arrest. He is cuffed in South Carolina. The first of 10 connected rapes happened back in 1991. The last ended in a brutal murder in 1998. Not a trace until a DNA match connecting samples from a victim and a genealogy database. Federal and local officials expressing relief, believing that a dangerous man now is off the streets. And then you have a, a really a good lead that then um, takes you to a place that you really start to feel that you have the person that's responsible for that. Um, and then to be able to collect that DNA and have that match, um, it, get, it just brings great closure. And the, the, the detectives um, have done some phenomenal work and, and really should be rewarded for, for, for doing such. Now, investigators were able to connect eight of the 10 attacks through DNA. And as Jonathan mentioned, thanks to online genealogy databases, police connected their sample to Warwick. Just in the past year, this technique has become a critical tool for Montgomery County. 60-year-old Giles Daniel Warwick of Conway, South Carolina, was identified as a possible suspect through forensic genealogy. The suspected Potomac River rapist is the latest to be brought down through DNA collected by those popular genealogy databases. To be able to make some matches that were publicly online. And with that, Montgomery County detectives worked with an outside lab to build a family tree, leading them to their suspect. The same team using the 21st century technique to capture a serial rapist in Germantown who targeted elderly women between 2007 and 2011. The procedure known as genetic genealogy was also used to capture California's Golden State Killer. Now, in terms of your privacy, the major genealogy sites like Ancestry.com and 23andMe collect DNA privately. They say they don't share customer data with law enforcement unless it's through a court order or search warrant. Well, the announcement of the arrest today is a small step forward, and clearly Giles Warwick is innocent until proven guilty. But longtime residents of D.C. and Maryland told our Annalisa Gale they do feel some closure and safer tonight. Um, it, get, it just brings great closure. Really grateful to the police for staying uh, on the uh, case. Concerned citizens like Richard Hoy are expressing their gratitude in Montgomery County and in the district where investigators.